Hey everyone, this is Carver with First Updates Now. Today I'm with 3175 Night Vision from the Open Alliance. We're going to check out their over the bumper intake, pivoting shooter, and their beautiful climber in this episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, so why don't you get me started on the note path? Talk me through your intake. So the intake is just a single degree of freedom, like pivot. It pivots over the bumper where we use our just bare polycarb rollers uh, to pick up the note if we want to demonstrate. Enabling. Once it's in the intake, we base, we pass it directly through the like through the middle of the bot. Uh, there's no support at all. It goes into our shooter where it'll we use the top and bottom rollers to shoot it out at a pretty high speed. Um, we can also can you intake one more time? We can also pass it into the shooter halfway where we can pivot up and amp. So the goal of this bot was just to be incredibly simple and effective. So we prioritize uh, sub -shoot, or subwoofer shooting so that we can uh, make as many shots as we possibly can uh, because we just want to be super consistent. And then the other thing we wanted was to be very durable. So our intake has gone through many revisions and so has our shooter. We also prioritize very fast cycling. We customized our Mark IV-I modules so that they can reach 23.25 feet per second instead of the standard like 19-ish. Awesome. Now, can you talk me through your decision on going over the bumper intake? I know you've seen a lot of the under the bumper intakes and it helps with autos a little bit. Tell me a little bit why you guys chose to go over the bumper and what you've done to make it more durable and robust. So the main reason we chose to go over the bumper is because of like our full width intake. So <clears throat> on kickoff, we were doing some measurements of our chassis and like notes and then the sword modules that we had. And we realized that we'd have to be basically full width to like 30 inches wide to get an effective under bumper intake. So we decided to go over the bumper um, to try and mitigate those issues so we could really easily have a full width without extending our frame past our sword module. Um, we haven't had too many issues with the durability of it. We did have to add some aluminum reinforcement and then we had to switch this from 25 to 35 chain. But after that, it's been very smooth sailing. The polycarb rollers can really take a beating and we haven't had too many issues with them. Awesome, that's exciting to hear. Now, can we move over to this climber me mechanism here? And specifically, why did you choose to just do one climber instead of two? Yeah, so we started out with uh, one climber hook in the center of the robot and we were trying to have it packaged under the shooter in the intake. Um, but we couldn't get all the way off the ground. And then we pivoted to a version that had uh, hooks underneath the shooter. And uh, that required us to actually lift up the shooter and stop scoring in order to climb. So we were inspired by 3005, who had the single telescoping tube on one side of their robot. And uh, we use a West Coast Products uh, telescoping tube kit. And uh, it allows us to put the climber up while we're still cycling. And we can harmonize really easily with our partners. We really like how fast and simple it is. And um, yeah, works really well for us. Absolutely, keep it simple. All right, can we get into the software side of things? Tell me about the sensors, the cameras, and all, all the sort of software side of things with this robot. Yeah, so we love to keep our robots as simple as possible. So we actually don't use, we don't rely on any sensors um, for running the robot. It just minimizes the failure points. Um, for our intake, we want to know when we have a note in the robot. So we sense the current limit on the intake. And once the current goes above a certain point, uh, these LEDs turn green for the drivers. Um, and we do have a limelight on the back of the robot uh, that we use for vision when we're under defense. Um, and when we're lined up, these LEDs also change color for driver uh, input. Um, although we like to shoot primarily against the sub because it's the most accurate and it pretty much guarantees that the shot goes in. So we only use that under defense. For autonomous, we use Path Planner. 
um, which allows us to create paths on the fly and have a lot of different autons that can work well with different partners. So we have a five piece in the center that can go for any of the um, far center notes. And we have a three piece or a four piece on each side and it allows us to be super versatile um, and work really well with other but robots. All right, awesome. Thank you very much, 3175 Open Alliance team. Beautiful robot, great performance so far. I'm excited to see how you guys do in the elimination matches tomorrow. This is Carter with First Updates Now, signing out. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.